Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about the second part of my four part question. So let's get into it. So the question was, Frederick, what trends are up and coming? Well, as in the previous video, I, I feel I have to say when I when you ask me about trends, you set you put me in. I know it's an innocent question and I know it's just because you want to figure out what you should bet on. And and I, I understand, like if we were sitting in a bar, my friends, just you and me, drinking, and I felt that I could trust you, I would just tell you from the depths of my heart how I really felt about the thing. But because I do this on a video where there's so many people who wants to chime in on what a trend is, I feel I have to say this. There are many trends going on. Some of them are more relevant and some of them are less relevant. But for some reason, there's a bunch of people who don't really get that. Because everything is a trend and everything is equal and everybody's a winner. So with that said, I would say that the trends that are going on right now, they have the most relevant things. And I'm going to pick my own interpretation here. I'm going to, going to interpret your question as trends for job purposes. Okay. I'm not talking about, uh, I'm not going to consider trends that are, I mean, I'm not going to say quantum computing or AI. Yes, these are trends, but I would say that they're kind of far away if we compare it to, I don't know, SBAs or Kubernetes. Hopefully we can agree that the, the, dis, the leap from uh, in terms of trends like the tre uh, AI is a is a trend uh, but right now kubernetes is probably the biggest thing uh, in in IT since cloud computing so that with that said that's going my my answer is going to basically be single page applications first and foremost the reason why i mentioned that and i actually didn't even tell him about back end languages because i for me it's a given like there's there's a lot of popularities between different languages, but uh, if we talk about just a concept, I mean, it's not a new concept to have a web server. It's not a new trend to have a programming language to express your business logic. But the way that we do front end has never been more different from what it used to be a few years ago. Today, uh, the, the, I mean, I would even say that calling yourself a front-end developer. This is not accurate, but for most companies, that is like just a byword for you saying that you know all the things related to SBAs and the tooling around um, bundling and so forth, that entire ecosystem basically. Uh, it's not completely accurate, but it is definitely a trend that has been going on and it's going to continue for a little while longer, uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, depending on how things go with WebAssembly. I think it's going to continue for quite some time. And yeah, so that's the biggest trend, I would say, in front end right now. And it's not, that's not going to come like a revelation to anybody who's been paying attention for the last five, ten, well, it's not ten years, but let's say five or eight years ish, because that's roughly the time we're talking about now, uh, if we talk about mainstream adoption. Second thing I would say is, as I was saying, uh, Docker, uh, for sure. Like I know like, uh, it's been around for a, uh, for a while. Uh, quite some time, so let's not say let's not say Docker. Let's say contain containerization and say Kubernetes instead. That is definitely. And I mean, when I this video is coming out, if I don't, com I'm not I'm not completely misremembering, or I'm not. I think that this is gonna be released well, like a year years from when I play it, or from from when I made it. Uh, it's I'm I would be very surprised if. Like, someone doesn't tell me that, oh, Frederick, Kubernetes isn't a trend. It's like the thing, and I kind of go, yeah. But try to remember that your old shitty car used to be the hottest thing that your car manufacturer ever made. So don't hate me because I'm old. Anywho, Kubernetes, for sure. The reason why it's so immensely popular is because of the same sort of reasons where like which is going to be the trend number three which is cloud computing everything related to cloud uh, d cloud development and uh, cloud native uh, we're moving toward in that direction and these two things tie in very well together because basically the systems that you are building are growing 
and with that grows the cost of maintaining those systems and what the IT industry is trying to do right now is to fork off as much of that work as humanly possible to someone like Google, Amazon, etc, etc and simply pay them for it because it's cheaper than them maintaining their own hardware and all the people that are needed to, in order to do that because as I, as I was saying this, all the systems are growing uh, the complexity and the scope of a project is growing and more and more for the for the bigger companies uh, around the world and it's an enorm uh, they want to be able to secure their position or like their development pipelines for the next 20 30 years or whatever it might be that might be even longer than that i don't actually know uh, i can't see into the future i'm very sorry to say but uh, for sure and kubernetes is a way for you to orchestrate all of this complexity in a very nice way and I mean with Kubernetes things like you know, right now at the very least Helm and STO and Envoy and so forth are thing things that are part of that ecosystem so let's not just talk about Kubernetes let's talk about like the ecosystem but that is something that I leave unsaid whether or not that is up and coming because STO is definitely up and coming but there are also contenders like Nginx and so forth uh, who are looking into this space as well so it might not be the most relevant thing forever it's similar to the same sort of situation you have with the SBAs where React, Angular and Vue are probably the stable choices and there are contenders such as say Svelte that are trendy but they're not really dominating in the same way as like say react and angular would so what i want you to take away from this is that trends up and coming is i would say uh, I, for me i define it as things that are part of core knowledge for you to work in web what's like whatsoever you don't it's not necessarily the thing that is the most bleeding edge or the most futuristic thing or the thing that we're going to all be doing in 10 years it's the thing that is here and now the thing that everybody is more or less requesting that you have a fairly good understanding of and then that brings the question what does that mean is, is a database a trend is no sql a trend well you decide what a trend is from my perspective i would say sbas it's definitely a trend. It's going to continue being uh, fairly relevant, I, I would say, until something changes in the way we need to do UI work. Kubernetes and uh, containerization is, as I said, like the biggest thing since cloud computing, and I think it's going to stay that way for quite some time. Third and lastly, cloud computing and cloud native solutions. In other words, everything related to Amazon, uh, AWS, um, GCP, and Azure, and so forth is definitely the direction everything is moving so basically what that means is that companies are moving from owning their own hardware and having their own data centers like these tiny little server rooms and so forth towards moving into the cloud uh, and that is n probably not news to anybody and i don't see that changing anytime soon have a great day